And yeah, we talked about Sarah's uh, student Bei Yong. He was, she was using um, Mandarin at home, and uh, for that reason, avoiding speaking English in class and couldn't express his ideas or her ideas in class. So, what uh, should we do as teachers, or what should um, training teachers do in such incidents? First trying to build up their self-confidence, the student's self-confidence, by not focusing on their English language mistakes. And why? Because if you are correcting too much mistakes, it can reinforce the sense of inadequacy in students and entrenches negative response to English. That's what Sarah found in her classes. And the second one, the second incident, where incident type is class participation. Also, a trainees uh, reported on incidents related to the students' level of class participation, which is also uh, really close to uh, language proficiency levels. And in here, uh, there were reluctance to participate in classroom activities. For example, uh, there was an example about Jack's two male students who were reluctant to perform a song in English. They were listening to uh, English songs and performing some activities related to the song, but two of the male students were sitting um, behind and uh, didn't want to do any of them. But after uh, giving special attention to them and after explaining the importance of participation in learning English, especially in such activities, um, Jack says, uh, although they were going along with shyness and embarrassment, uh, they tried to make more effort in the participation in the future classes. The other incident type was about behavior. Uh, there were six trainees who uh, reported incidents related to the behavior. And the main forms of disruption involving two different types. First one was about refusal to participate in activities, and the second one is shouting out answers at inappropriate times during class. For example, while someone is talking or while the other uh, students were thinking about the answers, shouting out the answer. And there's an example about um, cheese student uh, who is called Kumar. And in here, Kumar was refusing to record points in a group discussion. It's an example for the first one for refusal to participate in. Um, while doing an activity, uh, she wanted the student uh, Kumar uh, to write the uh, points in a group discussion, but he didn't want to participate in, he didn't want to take notes, but later, after talking to him, Chin understood that he had a problem in writing and spelling uh, in English. So he thought that uh, the friends, the other students, would laugh at him. That's why he didn't want to. He found a solution, teachers reassuring the students that it is normal to make mistakes and that everyone does it, so it can help us if you are told to your students or if you take help from the other students. For example, you can talk about your own experiences or you can talk, you can uh, encourage other students to uh, talk about their own experiences on how, what kind of problems they have in English speaking or English writing. The problem can be solved easily.
these kinds of behaviors um, and they um, wanted to focus on cooperation among the genders uh, and that should be cultivated given the time and the opportunity they said. And another incident type is classroom space for trainee. Uh, for trainees reported incidents related to classroom space. Uh, for example, when these two students uh, weren't moving or changing their seats in class activities, in some of the classes, in some of the activities, I wanted to then move and change their places. But they, they didn't want to do it. And then after talking, but they um, understood that they didn't want to do such activities because they don't normally do these things. They don't change their seats. They don't even move in the classes. They are uh, in their teaching types. They are just uh, sitting in their desks and the teacher is coming in front of the class and teaching and then going. That's a kind of traditional way. So students never make to move from their desks. They always sit in rows of desks during the class and uh, teaching from the center uh, of the front of the classroom is based. So the solution may be teacher continually shifting his action space around the classroom and especially, particularly in the back. So according to um, this type, uh, you can afford all students to your attention and you can obtain a holistic sense of how the class is learning. And in lesson objectives, three trainees reported that uh, students didn't know lesson objectives and uh, they wanted to know uh, why they were doing those kinds of activities. So, Kappa, for example, Kappa student asked why she was doing that certain activity in class. Um, this solution is easier than the others, I think, because the teacher can tell the uh, objectives clearly uh, from the first uh, lesson and teacher should make clear objectives of activities and the corresponding learning strategies acquired during these activities. So they can easily understand why they are doing those activities and will not ask anymore. Okay, when we go on with the discussion part, um, we see that mostly uh, they gave negative incidents. But actually, when we talked about the critical incidents, they are uh, all kinds of incidents. I mean, they can be positive or negative. But in here, most negative critical incidents uh, came into mind. And we can encourage trainees to um, focus on positive incidents too. For example, while you are doing a kind of activity, a kind of different activity in your class, it can go better than you expected. So it can be a, an incident, a positive incident, and it can also be reported. Yeah, as I said before, there were just two incidents. So it's a kind of limitation actually. You can uh, have uh, many more incidents and also you may not have um, you, any incidents too. So it's a kind of limitation. Suggestion for interpretations for the incidents needed. Yeah, and in here um, this researcher, as far as I remember, um, noticed that, uh, that she, he had problems about the uh, interpretations. Firstly, taking the journal and trying to interpret from it, but um, while making the categorizations, uh, sometimes he was handicapped and uh, for that reason he wanted to um, see uh, and take the opinions of trainees uh, and trying to understand the incident better and by this way he could um, make the categorization. And the trainees should come together and discuss the incidents led by the class facilitator. Yeah, after making all of these, after taking all of these journals, after making all of these lessons, all of the trainees, trainee teachers should come together and then uh, give a kind of um, solution maybe or they can talk about the incident 
incidents and they can uh, discuss about those incidents, what to do in that position or uh, what else they can see, what else uh, incident, what other incidents they can um, handle, they can talk about them. And um, when you talk about the general, in general, um, I think about my first years, my initial years in teaching. If I had such a chance, like um, taking some notes about the critical incidents, both positive and negative, and sharing this with other friends or even with a uh, class facilitator, the leader, it would of course help me a lot. And sometimes some activities go better than uh, I expected, but sometimes I had some really difficult negative incidents. So if um, I had a chance like this, that reading uh, would be really uh, helpful for my um, future years.